Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to more Oblivion Help. And in this one we're going to talk about what Bretons are good for. Now, if you if you want to support the channel, you can check out the link in the description to buy a wooden monitor stand. I made those babies, I gotta sell them. And it helps out. So Bretons! Bretons, I think, are one of, if not the most, underestimated race in Oblivion by far. They are the best at magic. Now. They don't have the highest magic possible, but in my opinion, them and high elves, it's kind of a toss up, right? Basically, if you want more magic, you pick a high elf. If you want to feel like a badass and you know, you're not going to max out your character, Bretons are amazing. So Bretons, they have excellent magic resistance and are gifted at all magic, just everything, just Conjure up a skeleton, boom. Throw a fireball, boom. Telekinesis, boom. Everything. They're good at everything when it comes to magic. I'm pretty sure that the developers, if they could make a class for it, they would pick something like the, probably the apprentice because the weakness is outweighed by the fact it's Brett. Oh my, blah, blah. But with the apprentice, they'd pick intelligence and willpower and a magic focus. I'm pretty sure that's what they would do with the Breton. And I really like the, the Breton for one thing, which is showing people how magic works. The Breton is good because they're really gifted in magic, and you can use them for all your magical needs, right? If you're a new player in magic, a Breton is a better choice than a High Elf because Bretons, they have a little bit lower magic, so they force you to learn how to budget your magic. High Elves are really, really good at magic, um because they're high elves, you know, they have more intelligence, but Bretons, they're kind of like the Nords of magic, right? If you're going to play a battle mage, so if you watch my Nord video, I said, Nords are good battle mage, 80% sword, 20% magic. Bretons are the 80% magic, 20% sword type battle mages, the ones where you focus on magic and sword at the same time. Now, because of their magic resistance um, and their low combat stats, Bretons are really good for max leveling your character if you really, really, really like sword combat. And sword combat is really, like, because their combat's low, you're going to level up your strength. Just beast mode it. You're going to beast mode your strength when it comes to that. Now, Bretons are also good as an in general combat class because of their resistance to magic. Their resistance to magic means that all magic just doesn't phase them. They're just tanks when it comes to magic. They just are beasts. They don't get hurt. Basically, they kind of get hurt. So of course, everyone gets hurt, but they don't really get hurt by magic. They're just kind of like, eh, throw a fireball at them. Eh, throw this at them. Eh, whatever. I'm a Breton. So if you want a combat class and you find that you like fighting magical creatures more, but you just, you just get your ass kicked by magic because you're really good at blocking, but not good at dodging fireballs and stuff. Breton's excellent for that, because that's their resistance to magic. And with that, that's it for this Breton. So really, when it comes down to is the Breton, if you want to experiment with magic, a Breton's a good choice, because of, you know, that weakness isn't there. Not the best, but very close. And they're just generally good for combat because of their resistance to magic. So if you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.